So we'll turn it to Mega Chippy Channel. Um, no repair video to this. Like a Wally, I managed to not press the uh, preamplifier switch, and so we had no sound, so there's no point in doing it. So this is a tired-looking Comtron 40F, which is coming from um, a radio ham friend of mine, Steve, who is also a business um, customer of ours. He's got one or two CBs to take him back to his earlier days, and. Um, it's immaculate inside so we did the Maxcon 4E the other day and we weren't able to bring that up to scratch so it will be going back with no fee but this has come up to full 4 watts and it's doing uh, it came in doing 3.8 watts so it went back doing it's got 4 it came in doing 0 0.7 microvolts for 12 decibel sound it's now doing 0 0.4 microvolts it was nearly spot on frequency deviation was a bit low at 1.9 that's now up to 2.2 to 2.5 and the factory microphone the insert has failed in it so there's nothing I can do about that there was no TX light uh, and it's a bit of a faff to change those and it was a dead set because the TO220 case voltage regulator which is a MC7808 had failed so there's no 8 volts so apart from lighting up it did absolutely nothing so that was the main thing so tune up 8 volt regulator LED and I've got it on my test mic um, so we're going to see before you start you want these parcels uh, dropping off um, yeah the top one uh, yes um, just have to think yeah it's, it's going to be the smaller one just um, just let me think what, can you see what the names are I won't record this Roger on that, we're all ready going. I also did the power connector at the back um, on the radio side of it. The chassis one which we happened right, to start up. To the end of the lane. Roger got you at the end of the lane. Roger. And on this one the speaker's fine. I got you at Ancaster service station. Is there a petrol price today? Negative, Lazy lot. I don't know whether I mentioned, but uh, Steve, who this belongs to, I said he's one of our business customers. He sent two business radios in as well. So tomorrow, which is Thursday, and Friday, we'll be doing his business radios. I can't show those on video uh, because the frequencies issued by our government are confidential. So then we'll probably be moved back on to CBs on, on uh, Friday. I can't remember which box number one. I think this is box 12. Right, we're now square wheel at Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, got you at Ancaster Crossroads. Roger got you at the top of the hill. So that's the mile and two thirds kind of bit. We've been sent one of these. Mr. Chippy opened the post about two hours ago, and lo and behold, some very, very kind viewer has sent us one of these. And I think it's the same person as who sent that Falcon in. So thank you very, very much. That's really kind of you. We will be showing it, uh, giving it a box number allocation, we will be showing it. Roger got you going around Scratchy Corner at Wilsford very well indeed on a 1982 Comtron CB40F it's doing a full 4 watts over. And it's exactly the same chassis as the Maxcon 40 which did 2.5 watts yesterday. Roger got you going over Willsford Level Crossing. I love the way he says over, over the level crossing over, it's really good. Roger 
Roger got you at the Kelby turn. Now the Kelby turn is our four mile point. So the next one is the Grayley's turn which is the five mile point and our worst it's surrounded by trees. Then it gets a little bit better for the final call at six miles at Rawlsby level crossing. Roger got you going over Rawlsby level crossing. Is there a price yet? .9 for the diesel, Roger. Right, well thanks very much for that and uh, I'll let you carry on and uh, send some parcel. 10-10. <laughs> right, that's the TTI going back. Um, so, to recap, 7808 regulator IC, LED, power connector at the back and the mic insert on the original mic so we're running it on a brand new one. Uh, we can no longer get the mics we like, we're having to get these coffin ones which um, are not what I want but that's what I've got to have. At least they're coming with a, a proper mic lead which is screened unlike the cheap, well they weren't that cheap, the, the cheap Chinese ones which don't have a screen mic lead which is no good to me at all. So we'll go over to our base station and once again thanks very much indeed to the anonymous person who sent in the next Comtron 40 if we're going to be working on in a couple of weeks. So I will give a, a, a box number to that and I'll announce what that box number is. I'm sorry about the fact there was no repair video to go along with this um, because it could have been, the diagnosis could have been interesting in that uh, 8 volt regulator failure. So we'll go to our base station, see what it sounds like on my coffin mic. Station. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, and eleven. Thanks for watching.